Welcome back to the channel, all my viewers and subscribers, and welcome to all the new viewers. I hope you are all having a blessed day so far. Now, in today's video, we have something very special. I have the actual video footage of Jareem Arame in first appearance in Florida court. So stay tuned because there's a lot of things was said and you definitely don't want to miss this. He's on pages 5 and pages 6. Good morning, Greg. Ruby Green on behalf of the state. Good morning. All right, folks, we're here in the matter of state of Florida versus Jareem Shelton, case number 22-106. And 22-11864. So you guys know over here at Vice of the Victims, we try our best to provide the most accurate and the most informative information about any case where we investigate. So now today, about 8.30 this morning, Jareem Shelton had his first arraignment in the Florida Judicial District. Um, at the court, his lawyer presented his case, which is an arraignment, his first appearance. So J-Man made a plea of not guilty through his lawyer for both counts, which is the second degree loss of life of both Ford Lord and Muscleman. The judge then go ahead to ask the prosecution if they are seeking the death penalty in this case. The prosecution said no, not at this time, they are not seeking the death penalty. So I guess J-Man along with his friends and family can now breathe a sigh of relief because they have now heard from the judge that the death penalty is not on the table. I summarized from the other day, from I break the news that the prosecutor asked for Jareem Shelton first degree loss of life to be lessened to the second degree loss of life. We realize the temperature in the case has dropped. Based upon, maybe based on the evidence where them gather or maybe based on his cooperation. At the moment, we have no concrete evidence say he's cooperating, but based upon the documents and based upon oh, the trajectory where we see the case are going, uh, it's fair to assume that. So we are going to go ahead and play the video footage from the court and then we can have a discussion in the comment section. He's on pages 5 and pages 6. Good morning, Greg. Ruby Green on behalf of the state. Good morning. All right, folks, we're here in the matter of State of Florida versus Jareem Shelton, case number 22-106-01 and 22-11864. Thanks to you, not your parents. The wall of Ashman on behalf of Mr. Shelton. Is Mr. Shelton here? He's in custody, Your Honor, and he is present. <laughs> Which one? Good morning, sir. Good, Good to see you. All right, folks, we're here for an arraignment. Yes, sir. We'll be entering a plea of not guilty and waiting for a reading on both cases, and I believe Ms. Green has something to tell the court regarding that. That's so on case number 22-11864 CF10A, that was the grand jury indictment of murder in the first degree uh, with uh, a firearm on both counts. Uh, so I'm going to be asking the court to merge the pleadings of case number 22-01-0601 CF10A into this new case number, which is 22-11864. Once we do that, then I can roll up the 22-10601 CF10A so that we don't have two pending cases. Right. So what you're saying is originally it was uh, the, the 22-10601 was filed pending an indictment, yes. pending a meeting of the grand jury, went yeah. to get the grand jury, got the indictment. <laughs> All of the pleadings to date or in the 22-10601 case, you need them merged into 22-11864. Yes, Your Honor. All right, I will grant that motion. And Your Honor, I do have a proposed order. I did show the defense previously, and that order also states from here that the defendant is to continue to be held no bond in the case. Kirby, we just that has to be jail, right. It's the state yeah. intending to seek the death penalty in this case. No, no, that's no, no. okay. But I don't have to go into an inquiry. So. Um, great. So let's. Yeah. For what should I set this case next? Can we just do a status judge? Yeah, yeah I'm going to set a. Uh, I'll set a first status. How long out do you think 
how long out so that there will be enough activity on the case to actually benefit from a status? Probably March, Your Honor. That way maybe depots can, maybe the initial officer depots can be taken by then. Discovery can be reviewed and uh, given to the client and discussed with them, if that's possible. March is a long way. Okay, February? So February is probably better. Okay. So um, let's reset this matter for status and let's set it for <clears throat> February 15th at 8.30. Thank you, Your Honor. Until they merge, we set both for the 15th. Yes, both for the 15th until, actually, not just until they merge, but until she knows the process. Yes. <clears throat> Thank you, folks. Good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you, sir. Thank you, sir. All right, what else do we have? Doesn't matter. So after you guys watch this, I hear what the judge say, hear what the prosecution say. Let me know what you think about this whole matter so far. Or if you think say the prosecution don't have enough evidence for prosecuting, or you think you might cooperate, let me know what you feel in the comment section. If you like this content, please consider to subscribe to the channel because we have a lot more exclusive content as it relates to German case and multiple other cases. You guys know any case where we investigate, we try to go to the facts. We need this is not an opinion channel, this is basically a fax channel, I will present it and break it down the best way possible. So if you like the content, ask if you consider subscribing to the channel, because we are going to cover the whole court, we are going to always have court footage from now on, based on the fax that we are going to start going in, into court. So we are going to always have footage, so if you want to keep up with this case, remember to subscribe to the channel. And we don't just do this case, we don't multiply your cases. And we we'll always go in depth in anything we do. So remember to subscribe to the channel, like, share, and pass it on to your family members and friends. So make them see what I go on over by the victim. Like I always say, remember to hug your loved ones. See you in the next video.